Hello everyone. Uh, this is gonna be the third video about optimization and this is gonna be a real problem which is uh, we write a query and join more than one collection and this is gonna cause a Cartesian product problem. Okay. First, let me show a little bit of code and give you the problem. Then, uh, probably you already see this problem before. So now, uh, here, I have a customer, okay, and a customer have a collection of books. Probably you already see from the previous demo, and also now I make another. Um, uh, association which I have a movie here M movie only have ID and a name okay and now uh, the customer we also have a collection of movies one too many both of them I changed to using join column which is on the book it's gonna have a customer ID and on the movie it's gonna also have a customer ID right so in my app okay I made some uh, data to populate the customer. I have three customer here, and uh, this address is not used, okay? So it's used for the eager loading. I just comment it. So if you want to uh, debug on a demo or do some testing, you can just uncomment it for the eager loading and uh, lazy loading. And now for this customer one, okay, we have three books. One, two, three, three books, customer one. Have one, two, three. And for the customer two, customer two only has one book, four. And the customer three, no book for the customer three. And then uh, we go to the customer one. It also have uh, two, three movies for customer one. See here? Customer have three movies. Customer two doesn't have a movie. And the customer three has uh, one movie. And now let us write a query, okay? Uh, query here. This is a lazy or eager. I put it here. Let's write a query. Uh, em dot create a query. And here I will write something like this from customer C, right? And the left join. The reason I using left join is by default is inner join. Inner join, inner join will not continue. Will not contain the value when it has a none, which means uh, customer three doesn't have a book. It won't include in the result set if we're using join or inner join. And customer two doesn't have a movie. It also won't uh, include in the result set. When we're using left join, all the values gonna be included uh, in the result set if the movie or books contains a non value okay join c dot uh what's the thing c dot uh, uh, books books and the left join c dot movies <clears throat> okay and uh, when in this uh, query we join two collections and when we join two collections our result will contain lots and lots of redundant values and uh, when we're using joins the result set is gonna be expanded okay so in this case here has to be object array dot class okay and here if we want using type to query yeah type to query Query object array, right? Uh, then here is what uh, query, yes. And then we're using query dot uh, get result. Okay. <clears throat> so now we have this query here. So let me show you the how the result gonna be look like. Okay. So we using customer join books and join movies. Let's go back to here and we will bring the thing. Okay. Okay. Let's let me make it so it's gonna be in one screen. And I'm gonna move this one a little bit. <coughs> okay, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Uh, let's do one more time, okay? Yeah. Okay, hook left side and uh, this side. Why doesn't uh, then it comes out? Okay, one more time. Sorry, not not a master on this one. Okay, this one, this one. Okay, so the left side will show the data, and the right side will show the uh, actual uh, result set returned by this query we made from customer join left join left join the two collections. Okay, so first. We were using customer to join the books. Okay, so what's gonna be look like? We will start with each of the cust uh, each of the uh, customer one first. Okay, <clears throat> so customer one, the name is uh, Frank, right? The name is uh, Frank and the Brown, and we join the books. Okay, which is gonna be Hibernate one. Okay. And uh, oh, oh, I forgot one thing. And also, <coughs> this this part is join books. We haven't finished. And books also we are needed to join with the movies, right? So it's gonna be happening to one. Shrek is called Shrek. And also we have to continue. Frank Brown hibernate to one. The book one. And uh, because customer one also have another movie. War. E. And also Frank Brown Hibernate One. We are join the last one, horse moving castle. Castle, okay? And we are done the uh, Frank Brown join all the movies. Uh oh no. Uh, this one hibernate one okay and now we have to have the customer one also have the second book so it's gonna be Frank Brown hibernate two this one is uh, one okay hibernate two two hibernate two then Shrek and Frank Brown and hibernate to join and the wall E and you guess what's gonna happen right Frank Brown uh, <coughs> hibernate to and the horse moving castle okay and also we now we finish the customer join all the hibernated to uh, this book second book and all the movies and the customer one also have another book hibernated three so we, it's gonna continue Frank Brown hibernate three and the Shrek the movie and Frank Brown hibernate okay and hibernate three war e and then frank brown hibernate four ah uh, uh, three 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 okay horse moving castors so these are the customer join uh movies uh books the first one is join books and then join what? Join, join, uh, this is movies. For customer one, okay, this one. So customer one have uh, three books. So you take, gonna, these books here gonna appear three times. Oh, no, 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 a lot of times, okay. Based on how many movies also, okay. How about one, two, three, okay. And also we have movies. For each movie, it also will have a Cartesian product problem here. And let's continue, finish for uh, the customer two, okay. Customer two is called Jan and Terrian. Jan Terrian, this customer, does it has book? Oh, it has a book, but then they have a movie. So it only has a one row here, hibernate four. And it doesn't have movie. Since we're using left join, it's gonna be none here. And the last one is a jaw door. Jaw door doesn't have a book, but it has a movie. 
since we are using left join, it cannot still be here. So we have a last one is John, D O E, and uh, doesn't have book, so it's now. And it has a movie, forgetting something. Okay, forgetting. So as you can see, when we are using customer, okay, to left join book. <coughs> excuse me. Left join books and the left join movies. See how big the collection is. The result, but actually, what's the values we want from the collection? We only want values which is Frank Brown, Joe Terry, and uh, Joe Do, and Hibernate one, two, three, four, and the movie is uh, Shrek War Home Movies and Forgetting This uh, Sarah Marshall. And uh, we only need to, oh, we only need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We only need the values from eleven cells. But then, how much cells? How many cells we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. 11 multipl multiply 3 is 33 cells. We only need 11, uh, the values from 11 cells, but it gives us 33. And when our product or the customer values, books and movies become larger, your, our result set will become very, very, very large. And it contains lots and lots of the redundant code. So this is uh, called the Cartesian product problem, which is uh, based on you're going to create a row, uh, which is going to be uh, like this customer. Yeah, suppose we're using the C and the movie. Suppose we're using R and N. So the total, the result set going to be like this. The values C decide how many columns, okay, inside of this uh what's thing, uh, inside of this uh, customer. Then this one will decide for the second, the first join the collection, okay, the values, the first join collection value. The N is the the second join collection size, okay. This one is also size. This one is also the size of the collection. How many results belongs to this customer? How many result? How many uh, result belongs to this movie? And how many result belongs to this uh, what's the thing? The books in our case. So your result set becomes super large. Okay. Um, how to solve the Cartesian product problem? What do you think? Never join more than one collection. Okay, if you join more than one collection, your result set will become super large, and you're gonna have so many redundant values. Uh, here, Cartesian product problem: how to solve it? Okay, which is never join more than more than one collection. Okay, never. Uh, you might ask, can I join more than two one relationship? Like a per customer has a one address, one to one relationship, or many to one. Doesn't matter. Two one relationship doesn't expand the doesn't expand the result set. You can join more than two one relationship, but never join more than one collection. This is how to solve the Cartesian product problem. And uh, for those queries, for those queries, it's only written by the programmer like us because Hibernate will never generate a query like this. When, Hib when Hibernate say, uh, if it join more than two queries, it's it gonna give you exception. Hibernate itself won't uh, join more than one collection. Okay, those queries are written by programmer itself. So be aware of that. Don't join more than one collection. This is really, really bad. Okay, 
So that's it for this video, and we talk about what is the Cartesian pro what is the Cartesian product problem, which is you join more than one collection, and how to solve it. Don't do that. Okay, if you don't do that, you solve the problem. Okay. If you still have a question, and you can leave me a comment below. And uh, thank you for watching this feed video, and see you next time. Bye bye.